Welcome to the Chromatech Test Labs. You're here because you're the best of the best. Now we all love a good puzzler. From the Rubik's Cube, Sudoku. No, not Sadaku, Sudoku. Columns and the almighty Tetris. I myself love a good cerebral conundrum and was one of the key elements in the Tomb Raider loop and success. Now VR always adds a new twist to that simple hook by putting you inside the puzzle and this is what we have with Chroma Gun VR, tested here for the PSVR. Now the game is also available on PC as a 2D puzzler and also any other console or device really at this point, Xbox, Switch, they're all available, but the extra element of VR adds to the tension of these escape room-like challenges. On initial boot up and start, you are engaged instantly, your eyes meet across the desk, hypnotic at first, but this encounter soon turns eerie as your every move is followed with a vacant stare. Luckily though, we can break free of this traction beam into the science of chroma gun armed with a single yellow gun. The layout, weapon and choice have an automatic portal feel to them and that is a good analogy to understand this game. Rather than having a symmetrical or asymmetrical portal carrier used to navigate through the expanding puzzle escape, here you have to match colour with worker bots to open passages, activate triggers and open doors to move on. Now the hook is simple, with the game starting out slow and almost far too simple. A single colour and very, very easy challenges. You start to wonder if this is some kind of joke at your expense. But once you master these though, you are given the big boy toys. A three-pronged Greek gun, complete with red, blue and yellow lasers, enables you to mix it up, quite literally. Now you have to refer to your school days or current art degree to remember the mix of them to make the required colour. The limit here is only two can be mixed at once before the canvas is ruined, be it the wall or droid. Getting a matching colour and the droid is then drawn like a moth to a flame. Change a white droid to your required colour, mix and match and even repaint a wall to reuse it again. Careful of that colour mix limit though, Deep Purple is not just a legendary band but it also spells the end. Also, the skills you learn here are slowly built up over the 8 chapters and some 57 levels. It will take even the most adorned puzzle player a good 5-7 to seven hours to complete this. And the addiction can be high with it snatching that no, cannot be beaten impulse. The key element to the challenge for me is the lack of any forced tutorials. It drops you in and then lets you find your own way like a child in a play pit. This is something I enjoy and takes me back to older games, but I understand some may like more of hand-holding. It is pretty simple though. In addition, the puzzles themselves have a finite window of success. You can improvise when you paint the wrong wall or colour by using surrounding ones and that equilibrium of magnetism to still succeed. It is inevitable though that some puzzles you can mess up instantly and this forces a restart by holding the touchpad. If this is within a long stringed combo room, this can get frustrating at times as you have to repeat it all to reach the same point. But no more than messing up a great Tetris run to then start from scratch from a single costly mistake. It all comes with the territory. Another nice addition is the inclusion of a colorblind mode. Using a simple shape and addition system that the bots and walls when painted use, these can be easily matched with the symbol on the gun when you rotate it, making the puzzles much simpler. If you cheat and then use this rather than remember the mixture of yellow and blue makes green, etc. The humour and polish are added from the very American cheesy voiceover that mocks your skills or pokes fun at the science of the test we are undertaking. For your safety? and the safety of others. Please refrain from touching, stepping on, or rubbing your face and other body parts on deadly electrified maintenance tiles. To complete this next chamber, please step onto the deadly electrified maintenance tile. With headphones, it adds to the immersion you are in your very own escape room session with the range killer bots, Westworld with oil paints. These can repeat quite often and it would have been good to mix these up with more samples and dialogue so that it never became so obvious so soon. The soft ambient music helps you think mellow into the challenge, which is amplified as only VR can here. Visually, the move to VR has made an impact, of course, on the visuals. With no boosts on the Pro, you get a very clinical and angular environment to traverse with no bells and whistles to speak of. This is not a surprise as the game ships on all formats, including Switch, and thus works well in 2D as 3D. 
The changes to the game here only come from the VR addition to this, so take this review to also cover the PC and console alike as a puzzler you may enjoy to pass the time. Visually, it's a cut back from the PC and obviously the console releases in the standard 2D mode. As I tend to not enjoy these games in long sessions now, more small bursts, these fast paced in and out style games work well for me and I can happily pass an hour or so in here. The extra effort of adding the VR is all dependent on how you have your setup though. I have mine to hand at all times so much easier for me. The 2D versions may improve this for you and also have improved visuals with better lighting, specular etc and alpha effects to spruce things up. The quality is good enough for VR to not offend or ruin the flow though but it really isn't a stunner with lots of diffused, very flat textures, no real material uses here. The bots themselves and possibly the gun are the highlights of the game. It's a very simple and angular looking title so don't expect to be wowed by a very immersive world here. It would have been good to have more variety in the scenery and the actual layouts themselves but I suppose that would have confused with the colour mixture here so I can understand why they've kept it very simple and clinical. What I enjoy most about this game is the non-intrusive freedom of learning and gradual build up of challenges it faces. You go from moving a droid from a doorway to mixing up multiple droids, triggers and doors, repainting walls, setting off traps and dodging death that all adds extra urgency and pressure to the challenges and this feels natural and I enjoy that. For the price though, maybe adding in a split package for $15.99 or $22 for VR and non-VR versions or around £8 or $10 just for the one would make it much better value for money. As it stands, the amount of variety in content here is more in that £10-ish level than the £15 one you can currently get it for. Admittedly, it is on sale at the moment for PS Plus players at £12.50, but you can pick it up for around £9.99 on Steam and whatever prices they are on Xbox and Switch stores. They may vary though. This is a simple game with a simple aim. It will not hook you for months and if you like the challenge of escaping a room with ever increasing difficulty, this is as close to a VR version of Portal with a low level of entry. Sickness is low if you are used to VR but if not, a comfort snap option is added to ease the woes. What is here is enjoyable, fun and addictive but it will not last long as the variety on offer for the price means once complete you will unlikely return often to repeat the challenges. Having a co-op mode so you need to work in tandem would add a great deal to this as would a more diverse set of environments and puzzles. Add in a limited amount of colour wash which would also reduce the reset amount and frustration at times creeping in, allowing you to reset a wall if you've gone to deep purple or even a robot if you've gone to the wrong colour edge. This would help alleviate some of those frustration moments but again it might be all part and parcel of their original design aims. The VR hook is always nice, but I feel this is one game that although works well in VR, you can enjoy it and its charms almost as much in 2D as 3D. Color me surprised. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did or anything else that I've put together, please like and subscribe to support the channel and the work that I do here. Please share where appropriate. But for now, I'm off to paint the walls red, if not the town. I'll catch you on the next one.